Hello and welcome to the next installation in this series. So this time we want to implement the login functionality for actual users here instead of this dummy account. Alright, so needless to say we are going to communicate with our database so we need to import it. So I'll say from PyMongo and we want to import the Mongo client. Alright, then for validation of the password, we are going to need hashlib. Alright, so I'll take this down and then I'll import hashlib. Alright, so now that we have those two, now let's create our client. Okay, so I'll create my client up here. So I'll say client is equal to Mongo client. And the DB we want to use is going to be equal to client dot silver POS. All right. And then finally, we want to get our users. So users is equal to DB dot users. All right. So that's done. Now we can continue here. So the first thing I want to do here is make sure the username is valid. Okay. So we'll just say user is equal to users. So users again is this DB, right? And we want to say find underscore one. And we want to find the user underscore name, which matches your name. All right, just like that. So now down here we can simply say if user is equal to none, right? Which means this username is invalid because we don't have it on our database, all right? So what we're going to do is we are simply going to say, let's just print this out, all right? So we'll simply say info dot text is equal to and actually what I'll do is I'll copy this all right and just paste it here because we want to show that error message otherwise if the user is not equal to none which means we found that user in our database all right so what we want to do is let's tab all of this in Alright, now we want to say if you name is equal to user, actually we've already found our user here so we know that your name is a valid username, alright. So now what we want to do is find the password instead, okay. So I think we can remove this. So we'll say up here, let's validate our password first, all right? So we'll say password like this, and we want to serialize this. So this is going to be equal to hash lib dot, remember we used SHA-256, right? So SHA, where is it? SHA-256 right there, all right? And we want to serialize our password, and of course, we want to encode this, all right? Then let's hex digest. All right, so I believe we have everything we need now. Yep, so now our password is serialized. So now we can say if password is equal to, instead of admin, we want to check the password for that user, right? So you and password, okay? So if the password is equal to user password, then we have a valid user, all right? So we can log them in. And another thing here, let's also go down here and get the designation. So we'll just say DES is equal to user and designation, user designation like that, all right? And then we can say, if there's is equal to administrator 
administrator. Looks weird, alright? But if password, if the designation is equal to administrator, then we want to just do that and also do that. But actually, I will push this up, okay? So that we log it once because once this is valid, then of course we want to tell them that they've logged in successfully, alright? So we want to do this if the designation is administrator. Otherwise, if the designation is not administrator, then it's obviously operator. So we will say self.parent dot parent to get our screen manager right and then we'll say dot current is equal to this time screen underscore op all right and i believe that would be it yep all right let's try this out and see what we get okay so python and main dot pi Hopefully we don't get any errors. So I will go with admin01, right? This is a username that is available in my DB and a valid password, hit enter. And voila, we are in our admin dash and that username is this one, okay? So what I'll do is I'll exit out of this. All right, let's try it again with an operator this time. And my test operator is Sarah365. Alright. And then the password for this would be operator01. And there we go. We are taken to the operator screen. Alright. So I'd say we're looking pretty great right now. Yep. Okay. So the validation is done, I believe. Yep. So the user. Yep, the login is now working great, all right? So for those of you who are using uh, MySQL here, you already know what to do with this, okay? You remove, you simply replace Mongo client with our SQL and you, re you replace this with a cursor, all right? And then you can get everything just like we did on our admin screen, all right? So that is it for this one, gents and ladies. Thanks for watching, thanks for the subscriptions, I'll see you in the next one.